Well, Coach, number five seeded Missouri Valley comes in and, and gives you guys a, a really tough game here in the semis. Um, what are your thoughts overall on the contest? Uh, Missouri Valley played great today. Um, and we really struggled with rhythm. I, I think for, for 40 minutes, I'm not sure we ever played where we felt like we were really in sync completely. But uh, just we had a gutty performance against a good basketball team that was ready to play. That. Uh, you know, was fighting for their playoff lives and trying to make the national tournament. And it was a great environment, great atmosphere. We didn't have our best game tonight, but we, we found a way to win. And, you know, when you've been successful and you've been in situations like that, and games are close late, and, and you, you have experienced success, and you find ways to do things right in the last few minutes of games. So and we were able to do that. We just found a way to make enough plays and get enough stops to uh, beat a really good Missouri Valley team and uh, very, very proud, obviously, of what we accomplished today. Missouri Valley features one of the top players in the conference, Gabby Morales. You guys hold her to under 10 points. Um, talk about the importance of that. Yeah, I mean, Gabby was our, our number one primary responsibility as far as trying to stop tonight. Uh, we really talked about playing deep team defense on her. Uh, you know, one of the things with her is she's just so versatile. She can score from the, the, the perimeter. She can score around the rim. And she didn't look like she was in sync either. Uh, you know, Macy, Macy gutted it out and, and played really, really hard. She's not feeling well today at all um, and, and just has not been able to uh, function at the level that she's capable of. Rashida gave us great minutes with great energy and really battled in there, being undersized. I thought we did a really good job of knowing where Gabby was at all times. Um, they had some other kids step up and make plays and, and hit some big shots and hit threes that we weren't expecting. And uh, they shot the ball better from the perimeter. They hit free throws for the most part throughout the game. They struggled late, but uh, credit to them. They, they played really well. They played really poised for the most part of the game. Well, like I said, we just found enough plays at the end there to, to finish it off. I'm very proud of that. But uh, yeah, great job defensively on her tonight. We'll have a number one versus number two matchup Tuesday right here at the Collins Center. Uh, how about playing your rival three times now coming up? Well, they're fun games, I can tell you that. I know it's going to be a great crowd. I'm sure they're going to bring a great crowd over here. Uh, you know, our fans will be out here in mass. It's going to be fun. Uh, it's going to be a great battle for us, a great challenge. They're playing extremely well right now. Um, they're healthy. They're very, very athletic. They're very good. Um, you know, and I'm sure uh, they're going to want to come over here and give us their best effort as we're going to try to prepare to do that for them. But uh, a lot of respect for their program. I know they're a good team. I feel like we're a really good team right now as well. So it should be a great game if both teams show up and play like they're capable of. Congrats, Coach. We'll see you in the title game Tuesday. Thank you.